updates now from the UAAP as the defending champs at Delacelle Green Archers avenge their first round loss against their arch nemesis, the Ateneo Blue Eagles, over the weekend. Jaron Tang powered the attack, scoring a season high 32 points, 15 of which came in the opening quarter. Jason Perkins, who had a double double of 18 markers and 10 rebounds, came up clutch draining a crucial jumper that put the archers up by three with 34 seconds left on the clock. Kiefer Ravenna and Chris Newsom combined for 37 points, but in the end, the Eagles fell 88 to 86. You know, first half lang, I, I saw openings for, for me, so that's why I took it. But in the second half, um, you know, um, they adjust the defense sila, and I also had to adjust, so, so I tried looking for my open teammates. Three other UAAP games took place at the Big Dome over the weekend. On Saturday, the Adams and Soaring Falcons came close to their first win of the season yet again, but fell to the University of Santa Tomas Growling Tigers. Louis Vigil and Aljon Mariano were the heroes for the boys from España, as Vigil drained a jumper that put the Tigers up by one, while Mariano preserved and even added to that slim advantage with four straight offensive rebounds and a clutch free throw in the final seconds of the fourth quarter. Adamson's Jansen Rios led all scorers with 22 points, while Don Troliano had 16 markers, but in the end, the Falcons came up short 61-59. to In the second game, the University of the East Red Warriors, who played without star guard Roy Sumang, extended their win streak with a victory over the University of the Philippines Fighting Maroons. Charles Mami had another productive outing as he went 5 for 7 on the floor to finish with a double-double of 15 points and 14 rebounds. While UP's Mikey Reyes led all scorers with 19 markers as he went 4 for 10 from beyond the arc. Warriors win 68 to 48. And finally, the Far Eastern University Tamaraos claimed a thrilling overtime win over the National University Bulldogs on Sunday. Mac Bello had another career game, leading the Tams with a double-double of 23 points and 10 rebounds. But it was Carl Cruz who sparked FU's come-from-behind rally, scoring all nine of his points during the fourth quarter. Alfred Aroga led NU with 17 points but committed eight turnovers as the Bulldogs lose their second straight game 74-70.